Good evening. My name is David Rooney, and I'm the CEO and founder of BetBook. As sports betting is being legalized throughout the country, this is going to lead to an influx of new sports bettors. Some of you in this room might be amongst that group. However, one problem with betting on sports is that if you don't know what you're doing, it's very easy to lose money very quickly. This is where handicappers come in. Sports handicappers are experienced professionals who work with bettors to help them understand how to invest their money the best so that they incur the least amount of risk while maximizing their potential profit. However, the way that sports handicapping currently works is it's done primarily through social media, such as Instagram and Twitter. One problem with this is that it's easy for handicappers to misrepresent themselves on social media. For example, they can inflate their win-loss record, only showcase their best performances, things of that nature. This can lead to some bettors getting tricked by handicappers who misrepresent themselves and the bettors end up losing money because they work with people who they cannot trust. Another issue with betting through social media is that if you reach out to a handicapper, you pay them for their picks, they might either never send you their picks or if they do send the picks, they might not follow up with information that you need when you reach out to them with questions. This can lead to bettors who don't know what they're doing because the handicapper never got back to them on time. And this can lead to serious issues and concerns for bettors who place their bets through working with handicappers. BetBook works to alleviate that problem. The way that BetBook alleviates that problem is by verifying each and every handicapper who works with our site independently so that bettors know exactly what they're getting into and who they're working with. We also will provide a star-based ranking for every handicapper, for any client who uses our service, and for the people who pay for a premium subscription, which is $4.99 a month. We will provide de a very detailed statistical breakdown of our serve of the handicapper statistics for the better they'll be able to see the handicappers record for wins versus losses for home team versus away team for conference play for against the spread ver against the spread versus the over under they'll also be able to see the better the handicapper statistics for placing bets with each particular team so for example one handicapper might be better with a particular sport or a particular team or a team at a specific level of a sport if you pay for the premium version you'll be able to see all that and more with a detailed statistical breakdown we'll also provide for direct lines of communication within our service so that you can make sure that you can trust that the handicapper will get back to you in a timely fashion in a timely manner if you have any issues, any questions, or any concerns after you, they've sent you their picks, they'll be there to help you and assist you in any way. Now I'd like to introduce you to the team that's going to help me bring this project to life. So I'm David Rooney. I'm the CEO and founder. BetBook was my idea initially, and I reached out to all these other people that you're going to see shortly to help me bring this to life. Amanda Bushman is a design major here at Quinnipiac and she's responsible for physically designing the app and making sure that it works. Anthony DiCello is my friend from out of school. He currently owns two of his own businesses. He's 23 years old and he's going to help me with the business aspect of BetBook. Will Fowler is the chairman of the Quinnipiac Bobcat Sports Network, which I write for. He also currently runs his own sports handicapping service on Twitter and he's going to be our first handicapper and he's also going to serve as a consultant when we need to discuss aspects relating to sports or sports betting or handicapping with somebody who has detailed expertise in that area that's where Will will come in. How BetBook works. We're going to be a freemium model where you can use our app for free or you can pay for advanced features. We will also, we'll also provide verification of every handicapper, which is going to be one of the key selling points of our service is that users will be able to make sure that they can trust the people that they're working with. We're also going to be reliable because you'll know that you're working with the best handicappers that we have and that they'll be able to get back to you in a timely fashion if you have any questions. Now for the app itself. So first you're going to log in to BetBook. You can choose on the front page how much money you want to spend. So that will help you, we, us know which handicappers would be within your price range. Now you get into the app, you'll see over here is the top handicappers 
for the month, the top three. So this will provide incentive for the handicappers to work to make it onto that front page. Then if you go to the individual sports, you'll see each sport. And if you click on the sport, you'll then see a list of the handicappers. All These are all the handicappers who cover that sport. If you click on the handicapper's name, you'll then see a detailed statistical breakdown that I was talking about if you're a premium user. If you're a free user, you will only see the check that verifies the handicapper as well as a star ranking. Then again, if you're the premium user, you'll see all the other statistics that accompany them. As far as our competition, we're gonna have two main competitors. This will be our two main sources of competition. One source of competition will be individual handicappers who choose to forego our service and instead choose to continue working on their own. We'll have to compete with them to bring customers over to us. And another would be major sports services such as FanDuel and DraftKings. They don't, they're not currently direct competitors, but if they choose to, they could they have the resources and the ability to run the same program that we're doing if they decide to go down that route. Also, there's some people who, continue, who would choose to just stick with them and not use our service at all. As far as the back end, we're going to have data recorders working with us who will independently enter and verify every statistic that is on our website from the handicappers. As far as marketing and promotion goes, the, we'll do marketing through brand ambassadors who will receive 50% off promotional codes to give out to people who they know. And th this will give those people 50% off for the first three months if they start using our service with that code. We'll also run ad campaigns on social media such as Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, and YouTube. This will bring more attention to people who are interested in using social media to join us such as and will focus on sports accounts within social media so our advertising will be targeted towards sports markets so then we'll pick up betters or handicappers that way and bring them in to work with our service we'll also provide venue promotion at sports bars and restaurants i'll get into that in more detail later but we're going to be partnering with those current businesses and through that partnership, we'll, we will promote our business there. Our main revenue stream will come from premium users who will pay $4.99 monthly to use our service. And if we partner with a sports book and they choose to place their bets directly through our service with one click shopping, so to speak, for maximum convenience, we'll get a 9.33% service charge on every bet that's placed. Handicappers will also have to pay a 5% monthly ser service charge for using our service. So in this sense, we only make money if the handicappers do, but the handicappers will make money through the betters. That will be more of a secondary stream of revenue for us, just so that we get money from the handicappers as part of allow allowing them to use our service to make it easier for them to reach out to clients and to prove themselves to their clients. As far as the financials, I've broke this down into how we expect to make most of our money. So we're going to make, you can see we have our different sources of revenue streams, such as the, pre, the premium user's total income. That, that's the money that will come from people subscribing through our premium account. We'll also make money from the betting service charge. The service charge is where we're going to make the most of our money. So now you can see our total revenue is $3.8 million in the first year. 10.8 in the second year and 17.8 in the third year. We will have some significant expenses in the millions of dollars, but because of our revenue, we're still going to make significant amounts of profit through this business. Now, as far as integration goes, this is where we're going to have digital terminals placed in bars and restaurants so that while somebody's sitting at the bar watching the game, they can then place a bet directly through BetBook so that we'll get that service charge. And this is gonna be at bars, restaurants. I've already talked to some bars in the Hamden, Wallingford, and New Haven area. I'm also in the process of reaching out to other bars in New Jersey 
to get them on board to start launching it there as sports betting is already legal and practiced in New Jersey. So thank you for listening to this presentation. This is BetBook. If you would like, you can follow us on Instagram at BetBook app. If you do follow us on that account by the end of tonight, you will receive a discount on your first bet that you place through our service or your first work with a handicapper, depending on which you choose. That's because if you support BetBook, BetBook supports you. Thank you for listening and have a great rest of your night. Welcome to BetBook.